So here's another free bicycle that I picked up the other day. Wind's blowing hard, so I need to be careful. It is not uh, blowing away the barn doors. Lucky for me, this one has a uh, decent kickstand. And it's a uh, Dutch made Sparta bicycle. Just like that, uh, that other bicycle I showed before. That had a problem with the uh, coaster brake. It still has a problem. This is a nothing special aluminium Sparta bicycle. And I guess it's about 15 to 20 years old. I took it home because it has a generator front uh, wheel and a 7-speed uh, gear hub. I never had a 7-speed bicycle, so I thought it might be fun to try it out. And perhaps later I could try and mount the uh, gear hub onto my lathe. I'm not really sure if that's a good idea, otherwise the YouTube would be full of examples. The front generator hub I will use for building my own wheel set for my classic Union bicycle. That should get a generator front wheel and preferably a two-speed torpedo rear wheel. But I might have to go with a single speed hub as two speeds are kinda scarce. But it will definitely have a coaster brake as I don't want to mess with any uh, cabling. The rest of the bicycle will mostly go into my scrap metal container and keep the Altra and Gazelle bicycle company that are already in there. Although I could try the handlebar and the uh, kickstand on my Chinesium bicycle. The ones that it has at the moment completely suck. Well, I'm back from an unplanned test drive. I was hoping to find uh, all of the gears in this uh, Nexus 7 speed, but all I found was a broken uh, chain. First time uh, that happened on a uh, on a normal road bike. Uh, I did uh, break plenty of uh, chains on my uh, mountain bike, but uh, never one on a uh, road bike. So I had to walk all the way back home with my uh, clogs, and that wasn't really uh, pleasant. I think it was a uh, four or five. Uh, uh, kilometers. So it's about a week later and I had a look at uh, the drivetrain and it basically needs uh, new parts. The uh, front gear is uh, worn as is the uh, rear sprocket and uh, of course it needs a new chain. And uh, since I'm not uh, going to uh, waste any time, money or dirty hands on this thing, I think it's uh, time to start scrapping. First let's remove this uh, Brooks leather saddle that I recently uh, restored. Next let's remove the, uh, the grips, the shifter and the uh, uh, brake levers. Because uh, well, I might use this handlebar on my Chinesium bicycle. And it feels like this is going to be a stroll after a short uh, fight involving a screwdriver and some WD-40. I can now remove the grips. Next are the uh, brake levers, levers, whatever. First the uh, shifter needs to come off because well I might uh, use it for when I try to uh, mount the gear up uh, onto my lathe. So I freed up the cable now it should come off with some uh, difficulties. Well, I found the uh, fitting Allen key and I tested the gravity. It still works. Let's see if this cable is long enough. Okay, all removed. Now I can almost uh, flip the bicycle. And next I want to remove the uh, carrier. Although I just noticed that the uh, mud guard is attached to the carrier. Um, I might have to uh, take out the wheel uh, first. 
but I can remove this uh, battery light so I can uh, properly dispose of the batteries. Those bolts are pretty rusty. They might snap off or uh, break apart from the plastic. I did spray them with some uh, lubricants. Cut it. Nasty. So now I can flip the bicycle. This thing is heavy. I might try out this kickstand on my Chinesian bicycle because this one is uh, um, adjustable. But yeah, metal bolts in uh, aluminium can get uh, pretty stuck. Can somebody hold the frame? Yeah, this is not going to work. Getting this bolt out has been a struggle so far. But I am going to win. It just uh, takes a while. I think I'm close. Well, I'm hoping I'm close. Because I'm starting to sweat here. Despite it is still very cold. Yeah, we have, we're having the worst, the worst spring, uh, or the coldest spring in, uh, I believe, 108 years. Feels like I'm winning. Haha, <laughs> I got it. Finally, thank God, that's over. I'm not really uh, impressed by the amount of uh, light this uh, uh, hub generator makes. I think there might be something wrong. This is as hard as I can uh, spin the wheel by hand. Okay, it's not very fast but yeah there might be something wrong here let's remove the uh, headlight and without a mud guard this bicycle is is basically uh, useless There's uh, two wires going to the headlight, so I guess uh, this hub doesn't use the uh, um, the frame as a uh, negative. And now I can take out the wheel, and with the wheel comes the brake lever. And somehow the uh, headlight, okay, this wire is for the headlight. And I guess that got uh, dislodged.
Maybe that's why the uh, light was so dim. There's one uh, spoke missing from the front wheel. And it looks like the whole head of the nipple broke off. That's kind of weird. Because in uh, my limited experience, um, spokes usually break just underneath the uh, nipple. Well, first time for everything. I already uh, loosened up the uh, brake cable and the uh, brake reaction arm. And um, since the, uh, the chain is already gone, and uh, the uh, chain uh, tensioners, at least on the on the left side, or the right side of the bicycle, is already missing, and most of the uh, chain guard is gone. I should now be able to take out the. Uh, wheel and there it is and I'm taking the uh, shifting cable I might still need it for when I uh, mount this uh, onto my lathe not sure if I will ever do that. Also, only the uh, first uh, five positions on the shifter were still working. I'm working on uh, taking off this uh, mud guard. And of course, the last fastener is, uh, well, it keeps turning and it is uh, kind of inaccessible because it's behind the uh, frame and the, uh, the lock, of course my lock. I had to remove the lock in order to get uh, access to this fastener. And now I should be able to remove the uh, mud guard. And in this country, a spare mud guard is a good thing. This uh, should fit my own uh, Sparta bicycle. I already loosened up the uh, carrier at the uh, frame side. So now, if I take off uh, these two uh, bolts, the whole carrier should come off. An ugly thing. I think it's an ugly thing. Yeah. Pretty ugly. Now the last thing that I want to do tonight is uh, remove this crank set and then tomorrow I will uh, chop up this uh, frame and I'll do that uh, outside because I don't want to have uh, all that all those aluminium grindings inside the barn because I cannot clean those up with a uh, magnet. Now how do I remove these uh, caps? Well, I managed to remove the caps, but there's a whole lot of rust in here. I guess uh, well, I'm not sure if my uh, crank pour uh, will still work on these uh, rusty threads, but I kind of. I want to use this uh, bottom bracket for an uh, artsy fartsy project that I have planned. Uh, I might uh, try it, but I'm not going to go uh, and spend a whole lot of time on this. Because, well, this looks terrible. And for your information, the other side of this uh, crank is just as bad. Just as much rust. It's kind of hard to judge, but this uh, thread might be too far gone. 
maybe I can hammer the uh, crank off. But with my luck, probably not. Well, that's the best I can do without uh, spending the whole night. It actually goes in rather easy. It comes hopefully yeah. Yeah, it's almost there. It's loose. Hopefully the other side will be just as easy. You know what this this looks like in uh press fit bottom bracket and I don't think I can remove this without uh, destroying it so I might have to look uh, elsewhere for a uh, bottom bracket for my artsy fartsy project so just for fun or for uh, bragging rights or just for this stupid film I also cleaned up the other side Let's see if this one also threads in just as easy as the other one. Uh, it doesn't look uh, concentric. Yeah, fuck it. Yes, I'm pretty sure that um, this bottom racket is not usable. Yeah, it's definitely not uh, turning concentric. Let's see if I can pull out the uh, threads. God damn it. I think it might be coming out. Yep, there it is. I win again. So, that's perfect. Because now I can finish on a high note. The last thing I want to do is take off this handlebar. So I can uh, reuse it on my Chinese bicycle. This thing is already loose. That's kind of weird. I did not uh, pre-loosen this nut for this uh, shot. There it is. And the rest can uh, all go into uh, the scrap metal container. And these are the remains of a uh, Sparta Atlas bicycle after an evening of uh, scrapping. Hopefully tomorrow uh, it will be dry, sunny, with, uh, without any wind. And then I will continue this uh, slaughter. So I just scrapped a, a Sparta bicycle. So now let's uh, clean this up and uh, bring in the uh, Chinese bicycle and uh, take care of uh, a few problems. So here's the Chinese bicycle again. 
And as you can see, that kickstand is too short. So uh, let's flip the bicycle so I can take care of that problem. Funny enough, the uh, problem of the rubbing chain guard has kind of fixed itself. Eh, sometimes these things uh, happen. I should have taken off this uh, bolt before I flipped the bicycle. But I installed this kickstand myself, so the uh, bolt shouldn't be too tight. Still working upside down is kind of fucked up. Got it. So it looks like the uh, replacement kickstand is quite a bit longer. And that's good because now I don't need to uh, loosen this bolt. Because I already checked and it's stuck. Just like any uh, other uh, Allen head bolt that is uh, making my life miserable. I put some oil on the uh, kickstand. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Holy fingers! I'm trying to do this while watching through the legs of the tripod. It is kind of clumsy. Okay, installed. Let's flip the bicycle again and have a look at the uh, result. A lot better. A lot better. I like it. Now let's replace this uh, awful handlebar. Well, this isn't a uh, huge bicycle frame. Um, it's a high bicycle frame and these uh, handlebars stick out too far to the back so when you want to mount the uh, bicycle and you're leaning uh, a bit to the front in order to uh, get your legs over the saddle the handlebars uh, poke into your stomach uh, and it's the same with a, uh, a ladies model but uh, since you use a ladies model as a uh, step through frame uh, on those bicycles it isn't uh, a huge problem but still uh, I don't like uh, this uh, this type of uh, classic bicycle and you're sitting way too much upright on the, on this bicycle and the handlebars yeah they're so close to you it is uh, Unpleasant. Let's uh, let's remove the grips and the uh, bell because uh, those are two items that I uh, do like on this uh, bicycle. One more thing: this this top tube is rather high on this bicycle, and that is uh, kind of a danger to your manhood. to the end. <sighs> but that's one. Still nice and shiny. And now the other.
the quality of these grips isn't great, but they are, uh, well, they feel pleasant. <sighs> now the bell was already loose. And of course, it gets stuck after the bend. Ah, got it. Not yet thirteen but too big for 12. It's typical for Chinese uh, fasteners. Those bolts do not uh, know what they are. Oh, it's already loose. And here comes the handlebar. Another thing I don't like about this handlebar, you cannot change uh, the angle of the uh, grips because this is all fixed and here's the Sparta handlebar that is going to make this uh, bicycle a whole lot better well I guess uh, later I will decide on the uh, final position for now this is good enough. Well, I already know that I want it higher. Just uh, not too high because well there is a there's probably a stop mark on here and I sometimes uh, go above uh, that uh, stop mark. Okay, now I need to uh, reinstall the handlebars and of course the bell. You know, this is uh, rather long. Perhaps I should uh, cut off a little piece. Yeah, maybe later. Not now. And of course they are being just as difficult when reinstalling. Creepy bastards. Don't be so difficult. Come on. And now the other one. I could use some loop, but uh, I would probably uh, regret that uh, later on. Well, I call that installed. I think this looks a whole lot better. Maybe later I'll uh, cut off a little bit of uh, the handlebar. But first I'm going to go for a test ride. Because the weather is uh, improving. And no, you guys cannot come. I don't feel like cycling with a uh, camera. Sorry. I'm back on my test ride. And it is so nice to have a decent kickstand.
the handlebar change was a success, although I did uh, change the angle just a little bit. I would have liked to also change the uh, saddle height, but I only brought a, an Allen key. So I guess I'm going to do that now. The uh, saddle on this bicycle was sitting a bit high because the last time I used it, uh, I was testing this Brook saddle, and this Brook saddle is uh, lower. So let's uh, fix that uh, problem. And I should also change the angle a little bit because it felt like I was uh, sliding towards the front of the bicycle. Um, I'll try it like this. Uh, later I might also uh, shorten the handlebar just a little bit because well this the handlebar is rather wide wider than my uh, shoulders all right that's enough with the Chinese uh, bicycle it can uh, go outside again where it uh, lives and I think we might be getting a little bit more rain later on there are plenty of clouds in the sky. So it's a few days later and the Chinese bicycle is back in the barn. And this time I will use the original kickstand because it makes the bicycle stand nice and vertical. So I've been taking a few test rides the uh, past couple of days and I like this new handlebar but I have just decided that I will make it a little bit shorter maybe uh, two or three centimeters I'm not going to make you watch the whole uh, grips removal process again because well you already know that it's going to be difficult so I'm going to stop the camera now. Well the grips are off and the bell has been moved forward. So now it's time to uh, make this a little bit shorter. Now I could use the angle grinder but I'm going to try this uh, pipe cutter. I'm not sure if uh, it will work on this uh, groomed steel. But yeah, maybe it works perfect. Something like this. Yeah, let's go for this. The last time I used this thing, I was uh, um, replacing the uh, heater. And that was a big job for me, but I did save uh, uh, 400, 500 euro on the installation. Hopefully this one uh, will last a little bit longer. At some point I might uh, cut into my, the tip of my finger. But I don't think that will happen. I'm not taking off a whole lot. Because yeah, adding a bit of pipe is uh, more difficult than removing another uh, centimeter. Although then I will also have to take off those grips again. And those things are tight. I think this time I will use some silicon spray. Is there any progress? Hmm. Yeah, I can feel it with my finger. So, I should be close. 
And there it is. A nice ring. A bit white maybe. There's some burrs. That took a while but I finally found my deburring tool. A lot of material got uh, pushed inside. Well, that's safe enough. I think that's close enough. So here we go again. I will say, doing this on a Aluminium mountain bike handlebar is a lot easier. No sparks or sound from the angle grinder this time. I guess you must uh, be disappointed. We're having some great weather today. Looks like summer is uh, finally starting. So later uh, tonight I will uh, take this uh, bicycle out for a test ride again. My daily fitness round. Success. I think it's reasonably close. So, now I can reinstall those uh, grips. But this time I'm trying out some silicon spray. See if I can uh, make my life a little bit easier. Yeah, that did help. But if you ever wanna wanna paint a bicycle, I suggest you stay away from uh, using silicons. So, job done and ready for a test ride. It's time to move this uh, Chinese bicycle back outside. Stupid stand. The sun is uh, starting to shine and in the afternoon the inside of the barn doors can get uh, close to 50 degrees. I guess the uh, dark green color on the outside uh, doesn't reflect a whole lot of heat. And I guess I will have to wait till uh, tomorrow before I can grab this frame. So it's the next day and it is uh, time to end this uh, shit show and uh, time to end the life of this Sparta bicycle. I got my air muffs and uh, my uh, safety girls and a new uh, disc in the angle grinder. Well not new, hardly worn. So I'm ready to do this. Let's make this fit into the uh, scrap metal container.
Man, that blade is uh, wearing quickly. <laughs> Powder. It's kind of weird. I wonder where uh, that stuff came from. Annoyingly big tubes. And this mounting bracket for the uh, chain guard is in my way. Well, that's basically done. Now I can uh, stuff this into the uh, metal container. I think about a centimeter of the uh, radius of the disc has worn away in this little session. And now it's time for the uh, Sparta bicycle to join the uh, Altra and Gazelle. The sun started to shine and well, the weather is improving, although there are still a whole lot of uh, clouds. I'm impressed by how worn this uh, crank is. I never saw that before. Now let's uh, save this hub from its uh, mundane existence inside a wheel. Got a new uh, disc, my uh, eye protection and uh, earmuffs. So let's do this. The wind is starting to pick up, so that sucks. I think I got it. But most likely I forgot one. Yeah. I forgot two. And of course. And there's the price. Not sure if I will ever use it. I'm not really sure about hooking this thing up to a lathe. Um, I guess the uh, motor hole needs to drive uh, this chain cock, and then some sort of pulley will need to be made on the uh, outer part of the uh, hub shell. I really doubt that this thing uh, will be uh, strong enough internally, but uh, well, it does have a, a brake. That might be cool. Not sure if it's uh, if it is useful. Um, I think most of the gearing inside uh, will speed up a motor instead of uh, slowing it down. So. It would need a, a lot of large pulley on the, on the drive side. 
but yeah I guess I will uh, need to look up the uh, um, ratios of the internal gearings and then uh, do some uh, calculating let me know uh, what you think uh, about this idea of using a uh, bicycle hub on a uh, light lathe Yeah, that's not going to fit. Well, I guess I'll have to save it. I'm done for today. I'm going to take a ride on my uh, Chinese bicycle now. To be continued and, uh, well, thanks for watching. And the uh, remaining plastic bits go into the uh, regular container. No battery.